Welcome back. So in this section, we will dig a bit deeper into the meaning of average power and instantaneous power. Okay. For that, we have shown a graph between work and time. We had already discussed that meaning of average power is nothing but the amount of work done in a particular time interval and that time interval should be macroscopic in nature. Macroscopic in nature means it should have a consider it, it should be a considerable amount 5 minutes 2 minutes 3 minutes so on and so forth so accordingly we have shown these two times time t1 and time t2 in the graph and we are going to discuss the amount of work getting transferred in this time interval let's find it out so as per the graph at a particular time t1 the work done by a particular force is w1 and correspondingly at time t2 the work done by that particular force is w2 okay and as per the definition of average power we are going to discuss the amount of work getting transferred between the interval t1 and t2 so at t2 the work done is w2 and at t2 t1 the work done is w1 hence the amount of work done between t1 and t2 is nothing but w2 minus w1 and here we always know that it is t2 minus t1 this is the meaning of average power so as per the graph we can see here t2 minus t1 is this distance however w2 minus w1 is this distance so the two points that we are going to discuss about in this graph we are going to join those two points okay and if this uh, this line which joins these two points that are of interest to us makes an angle theta with the horizontal then tan theta will be this height perpendicular and this base so here tan theta will be equal to p by b and this is same as this distance is w2 minus w1 and this time interval is nothing but t2 minus t1 and hence w2 minus w1 by t2 minus t1 will be equal to tan theta this is the graphical meaning of average power hope you understood this now in case of instantaneous power we are interested in knowing the work done at a single point in time for example we are taking into consideration a time t1 and at this exact time t1 we want to know the power we know that power at a particular time t will be equal to dw by dt at, a, at that time so dw by dt at particular time t1 to know this quantity we will have to draw a tangent to this curve and we know what is the meaning of a tangent tangent is a line which touches at that point of the curve in which we are interested in for example we are interested in time t1 so we will go to time t1 and draw a tangent to the curve at that point and the slope or the tan theta for example it is making an angle theta then tan theta will be equal to the slope of the line and we know that slope of a line at a particular point at a particular point is nothing but dw by dt at that time t1 meaning thereby if we have to find out the value of power at a particular time t then we will have to draw a tangent at that point in the curve and we will have to find out the slope of that tangent if we shift our 
a tension to a point T2 and we want to find the power at this point then simply what we will do is we will simply draw a tangent at that point for example this is the tangent we can draw it using different line different color for example this is the tangent and this tangent is at point T2 and if it is making an angle theta 2 then slope at T2 will be equal to dW by dt at a point T2. So this is the graphical representation of the instantaneous power and this one is the meaning of average power graphically. So now that we have discussed the meaning of instantaneous power and average power, let's switch our attention to the unit of power. Unit of power. So SI unit of power will be equal to SI unit of work, SI unit of work upon SI unit of time. And we know SI unit of work is joule and time is second. Hence the SI unit of power becomes joule per second. And we provide a special name to this quantity as what? We give this name in honor of the name James Watt. We all know about James Watt and his contribution in physics. That's why to honor his name, a uh, SI unit of power joule per second is given as what? So SI, SI unit of power becomes power becomes what? Sometimes we need to we need to describe a larger magnitude of a power. For example, we need to discuss 746 watt. It's very high magnitude of power and that usually is given as one horsepower. So it's simply a unit. Whenever we are going to discuss a large amount of watt, a large amount of power, in that case we can simply give 5 horsepower, 10 horsepower like, like that. So these are the two units that we discussed in this section. Okay. We will discuss further in coming sections. Thank you.